In another video, we demonstrated how interactive dashboards can help you with your strategic planning, understand the impact of revenue change, and make adjustments on the fly, which are then reflected right away on the dashboard. In this video, we are going to run a what-if scenario to see what changes we would need to make to next year's hiring plan to eliminate the revenue shortfall moving forward. This staffing details chart shows us that we are planning to hire some new account executives between February and April. Let's make a change to the plan to see if accelerating the hire date on one of those account executives would eliminate the revenue shortfall. With this interactive dashboard, we'll refresh the data and immediately see that advancing the hire date of the account executive would significantly reduce the gap between our revenue target and the bottoms up staffing plan. The dashboard updates immediately because Workday Adaptive Planning pulls from the same underlying data for all models, reports, and dashboards in real time. With the revenue gap now largely eliminated, let's open up a report to understand how the personnel change has affected other parts of our plan, like our expenses and cash position. We'll visit the application menu and open up a what-if financial statement to look at what implications this change has on the company's business performance. Notice the difference between Budget Pass 1 and the working budget version that we just changed. A change in headcount for account executives would immediately impact the company's plans for revenue, costs of goods sold, operating expenses, and capital purchases. This also has an impact on the balance sheet, cash flow, and other financial metrics. Because all the calculations are done in the cloud in real time, you never have to wait to see the complete results. Heading back up to the income statement, we see that accelerating the hire will increase net income for the company by more than $186,532. If we need to add a comment about the change, we can do that directly on the report easily.